a lot was going on. So, and then I was praying too. Like a lot of people didn't know, like I was rapping about Percocets, but I was really in church, like praying, not like I can get off of them type, you know, cause it's really, it's not an easy thing to do. Like addiction is real, you know? But when I first started popping them, nobody was saying like, hey, you gonna have withdrawals and this gonna happen, then your body gonna do this and it's gonna do that. It, it was just fun at the time, you know, like young, just, I had just signed the deal, I was in New York, and that was my first time ever popping a perk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Know what I'm talking about, but it's going down, man. Hey, I got a guy here today, y'all. This guy here frequents the show. He one of them ones that I, I ain't gonna lie. Ever since I started this show, I seen him. You know, he was interviewing everywhere else. I got to interview this dude, man. And and a lot of people, you know, they know his story real. He's a real one out of Fort Worth, man. Kenny B yeah, is in the yeah. building. What's going on, man? What's the word, man? Man, just happy to have you back on the show on the set, man. You know, uh. You've been kind of, you know, laid back with it. You know what I'm saying? Chilling. You got to give us an update on kind of what's been going on with you, right? And you've yeah. been missing it. What's up? Have you been missing him a little bit? Of course. And I was very proud of you when and I saw. My not up. I was. <laughs> let's get into this part first. Let's, I was very proud of you when I looked on your page and see that you had dedicated your life to Christ. Oh, yeah. When I had got, be well. Baptized. Yeah. What, what you saying? Well. What? Well, yeah. If that's what you call it. Yeah. So what led you up to that decision? Uh, I don't know. I, you know, I was going to church already before that. Like, mm -hmm. I, well, not. I used to be against church until, like, I went around my big sister and she go to church. Mm -hmm. And if you there, you going to go, like, regardless. How like, long ago was this, though? Not too long ago. It okay. was just, like, a couple couple Sundays before I got baptized when okay. I had posted it was just like a couple Sundays before that and like if you there you gonna go but the first time I went to the church I ain't wanna go you know like I ain't wanna go whatever but I went and it just felt like when I you see what I'm saying when I went there it just felt like the pastor just was saying everything that I was going through like it just felt like, like he was talking to you yeah it just felt like he was just talking to me like the pastor followed me like me and the pastor be talking like even when I'm rapping, like, high rap, gangster, t cussing, like, he mm -hmm. still, like, put fire emojis. Like, I still talk to him, like. That's cool. Like that, but it just, I just felt like he was talking to me, and then, boom. But then, this how I really just knew what it's called, like, the spirit. Mm -hmm. You know, like, when they in the church, it's a big church. Y'all know the churches in um, Grand Perry. Okay. It's called, like, some, I, I forgot what it's called, but it's in Grand Perry. And it's like um a big church, and it was like when if you uh some come down like come down to the church, it's like if you need a prayer or something, whatever, whatever. And I was losing a lot of my partners and friends at the time, and it was a lot going on like with family and just you know a lot was going on. So and then I was praying too, like a lot of people didn't know like I was rapping about Percocets, but I was really in church like praying, not like I can get off of them type, you know, because it's really it's not an easy thing to do like. Addiction is real. You know, but when I first started popping them, nobody was saying like, hey, you gonna have withdrawals and this gonna happen, then your body gonna do this and it's gonna do that. It, it was just fun at the time. You know, like young, just, I had just signed the deal. I was in New York and that was my first time ever popping a perk. So I'm saying, and then the next day after, I'm like, I just want to feel like that again. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying. What was the reason you started popping it wasn't the perks? What, It wasn't a reason. Okay. It, it never was a reason, but. Like, before I started popping perks, it was just, like, a lot of stuff going on in my life. So, I'm saying, that made me just want, like, hungry for rap. Like, starving. Like, I just wanted to be who Kenny be, like, who I am now. Like, everything I got now, I just wanted that. So, I'm mm -hmm. saying? So, at the same time, it was like, okay, boom. When I started popping perks, it was just like, damn, like, most of, most of the pain is, is really not nothing. I'm really smiling. I'm really just happy now. You know, like, it just... Like, I, right, it's nothing, like, so I'm saying? But it's like, when I get off of it, I get to thinking about it, like, damn. Because it didn't, re it didn't really get rid of your problems. It, it really didn't get rid of my problem. It was just, like, for the moment. For the moment, So I'm right. saying? So every time I was like, I need to feel like this. If I feel like this, I know I ain't going to trip about that. So I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But not knowing that's slowing me down. So I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, Productivity. So I'm saying? Everything I did from... From when I started rapping to me getting signed, that was me sober, just mm -hmm. on the move. And then when I went to New York and got signed, that was my first time getting introduced to a perk. So I'm saying, and it was from that point to like 
It slowed you down. So I'm saying, I just finally like got off Percocet, like mm -hmm. just now. So I'm saying, like, so the whole four years of everything I was doing, I was on pills. Like when I was just lazy, laying back, I was on pills. So I'm saying, so I'm not noticing that until I just got off. So I'm saying, like, I just be up every, so I'm ready to do stuff now. So I'm saying, like, how many times? I done post a bear here, didn't come, didn't come because I probably like feel like it in the morning. I'd be like, oh, I'm going to go to the boss talk interview, do this. But then later on, now I'm on them pills. I'm smoking. I'm like, nah, I ain't feeling. See what I'm saying? But now it's no, just consistent. It. Yeah, we on boss talk one-on-one.